toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading bay should be a way in. What's up guys, it's Arch. And today we are doing another Mirror's Edge walkthrough. Today we're doing the level Pirandello Kruger. I have no idea what just happened. Evidently I... I just did magic and yeah. So let's try and we'll run on there. Hey look a runner bag. I've never been here over here by the way. Never used this way to get down. Oh my god, I'm dead. <coughs> anyway, um how is everybody else today? I am pretty good. I just finished an internship, so I am happy I have free time again. And why did I not wall run there? I don't understand. Anyway, let's get full speed, jump off this thing like a flying angel, and land. Hell yeah. Alright. So, this level... What's it called again? Okay, really, come on, Faye. Faye, don't screw with me like this. So mean. Did you know you're mean, Faith? Because you are mean. Yep, Faith's mean. It's official. Anyway, on this level, Pirandello Kruger, it is the first level in which you encounter runner cops. And if you don't run know, runner cops are the bane of, like, everybody's existence who's played Mirror's Edge. They really suck. Um... And from this point in the campaign onwards, you will encounter them mm, a few times. And they are, uh, at least for the first few times you play, like you play against them, they are like the scariest thing in the whole game. They're like freaky cyber police ninjas of death. So yeah. Anyway, we need to get over to, as Merc said, the building with the big stupid dog. So we're gonna run down here, run back up here to get around that fence. Cause I can't be bothered to just drop down an edge. We go in here. Then you wanna go up here. Um apparently Faith doesn't want to do this today. She's tired, she hasn't had her coffee, and she needs her coffee. Yeah, she just I don't know, she doesn't like me today. Right, there we go. Now, you want to go this way, run across these two beams, well not beams, vents, down here, and we have a 1337 sniffer. Run up here, disarm him, run back down here because you don't want to get sniped by the other one. There's often a sniper up here in the O, but apparently right now he doesn't feel like saying hi. There is a sniper down here so be wary and then of course down here you have these dudes PK SWAT cops HEADSHOT environmental kill yeah there's just those three so after that you can chuck the sniper I tend to just run up here and try and jump until I get onto this because I don't like ah! I don't like falling to my death because of glitchy wires which I have often, often done. Very, very often. Yeah, so then I drop onto the trucks, roll, we're down, you run over here, and voila! Voila! A door. A magical, magical door. Which brings us into the Pirandello Kruger building. This building is pretty terrible. It's a building of death type deal. We'll just get over this. And now we have a very unpleasant experience. Oh dear. Let's get up and jump and ow. So, yeah. Thankfully that jumping saved me the hassle of kind of doing the... what we call an eggplant, where you kind of do that and fall on the floor. So it kind of sucks. This is one of the bits in the game that I really don't like. 
Okay, that was a very odd disarm. Then you want to shoot that guy. A single shot. Then go over here, there'll be two of these dudes. No, actually. Yeah, there are two. Shoot that dude. Pick up the gun. Get scar aged. Okay, now let's see where do we need to go. We need to go over there. Looks like PK has their offices somewhere else. So this way and just sprint down here. Right, now we need to get to that. Don't coil jump it. I, at least I tried on my pre on my what's it? My pre walkthrough run which is for the purposes of me not completely failing 24/7 and like kind of you guys having to watch me be an idiot and try and find out where I need to go. Okay, so just wait for the end of the steam. Then over here, drop, roll. Actually roll, don't be like me and fail. Right, now we have no, it's not. It's this section. According to the plan, so we just bust through, through the door the over here. And which does nothing. You actually vault this. Get down here. Vault this. Run up. And now we get to do some fun stuff. Also, ah, oh, I'm kind of missing the pre-mission. Wow, look at that. Faith is like holding onto the air. I wish I could do that. That would help so much. I would never like fall down. Oh, my flow was so much better in the pre-mission walkthrough. What's it, the pre-mission run? Just because I had like awesome music on, I was listening to like Starry Eyed by Ellie Golding. Um, what's that song called? On on the floor, is it? Is it called On the Floor? Oh, come on, seriously! I hit the roof. Who hits the roof? Come on! Um, yeah, um, what's it called? On the Floor or something by Jennifer Lopez and Pitbull. Yeah, I was listening to those and Pop Culture by Madion and it was just awesome. I had like perfect flow, I was just running around and it was absolutely freaking fun. So fine, I will do it your way, I will balance, and we'll slide under here, and we don't have enough slide to go over there. We want to get to the magical switch, which is over here. Press that magic switch. Go through here. Go through here. Let the door actually get you out. And then voila! We are through this bit. Now we are getting to the what's it the awesome this bit. So this bit I will likely die at least once. Slide down this, there are some cops, they're not going to chase you, you don't need to worry. Just chill, go here. Actually with the speed that I'm doing this right now, it's probably quite hard for you guys to see what I'm doing, but whatever. So yeah, I will use my watch him a jig time slow magic parkour faith abilities I wish I could do that I I so wish I could do that seriously I would I would be able to do pretty much anything that I wanted to do if I could do that so yeah I like just jumping here and then running off here and then don't vault that fence because the place we need to go is right here but I always forget there's the magic button. There's lots of magic buttons in this level. And no, we're not finished with magic buttons yet. Okay, and drop through here. Then we have this nice, like... Listen to that door sound. It reminds me of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And Top Gear in that episode where they're trying to define the exact door sound used in either Hitchhikers or... No, Hitchhikers was the... Ah... doors. 
No, they were trying to define the exact sound used by the doors in Star Trek, I believe. Right now, we're about to encounter Runner Cops for the first time. They suck after this cutscene. This is Project Icarus, by the way. That's what it actually is. It's making the Runner Cops. Look at that awesome animation. That's such good reflection. Jackpot. I think I found the nerve center, Mark. Could be some kind of training room. Drake. What are they training them for? You mean there's something left in the city they haven't managed to tax, ban, or regulate? Well, that's Us. Left, huh? Us. Merc, get your gun. You know, that's never too far away. Why? This... this training, Merc. This Project Icarus. Pirandello Kruger. They're not here to bolster the police. They're being trained. To come after us. After the runners. All the runners. Everything okay up there? Quiet as a grave. Just me, birds, and the best black market surveillance equipment money can buy. It's him. Him? The guy I saw at the mall. Just seen him on a camera. On the deck of a boat at That's the where we go next. You've done enough. Right now, it seems you're sitting in a lion's den. So please... Marcus Faith is kind of an idiot, and she's a bit slow, and she can't hear things. She doesn't notice the elevator behind us is coming up, and voila! Enter Stealthy Ninjas of Doom. Now just, just run. Don't look back. Don't think about anything else. Just run. Yeah, if, if you run... If you just freaking run, you, you'll be fine, you know. But if you, if they catch up to you, and they get out their tasers, then you are screwed. So make like fear, and f everything and run. Yeah. So this is the exit door. You want to get to this? Smash it down. Run to the left and get in the left. Get in the oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, footsteps, footsteps. I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, we're fine. See my points? See how they're scary? You just hear those <laughs> pattering footsteps and you just freaking go mental. It's so freaky. You're like, ugh, stealthy ninja and police of death. No more do we F police. In, in, in Mirror's Edge, police taser you with parkour and tasers that are unlimited which suck and then they kick you in the face which is really really not nice it's so inconsiderate yeah so just run towards the glass they kindly break it for you unfortunately though they don't break this glass at the end for you so you have to smash through it yourself in that awesome cinematic glass smashing manner Run over here and don't do what I often do and jump off that other side. You need to go up these stairs. I'm going to get tasered in the back any second now. I can hear them. Yes, yeah, so then you want to run over here, jump down here. Go here. Gonna slide through, jump down there. There's some train tracks up ahead of you. Could be a here we out. are, they're coming after us. Now the train tracks are salvation. So just just run. Um, I should have taken the wire, probably. And this is the end of the level. There we go. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, and some feedback's always nice. If you enjoy my videos in general, consider subscribing. And other than that, have a nice day.